Hey, this is Chuck with BMW Blog, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about an OBD2 reader. This particular device is made by OBD11, which they just recently sent this to us, as these guys have been doing European cars for a long period of time, and they just recently started adding BMWs to their supported vehicles. Please check on their website to make sure your particular BMW is supported before you order it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to use this one on a 2021 BMW X3. So first thing you need to do is plug it into the vehicle. The OBD2 port is located in the footwell of the driver's side. Next thing you want to do is open the OBD11 app and you want to connect to your device. It should pop up and show you your OBD2 reader and it's going to connect via Bluetooth. Next thing you're going to see is that it's going to start reading the vehicle, pulls up that the 12 volt battery is well charged, it senses that it's a BMW X3, and now it's reading the control units. So you're gonna give it a few minutes and let it read all the control units in the vehicle. So, cue time lapse. Once it's recognized the vehicle, you wanna to tap to scan. It's scanning about 30 different little components within the car. Currently it says there's 17 faults found, which is amazing given that we just had the car serviced at BMW, let's see what they say the faults are. Tank pressure sensor, that's probably from uh, the gas cap not being put on correctly. It is interesting to note that the scan did notice that one of our key fobs had a low battery. Please click here on this link to see how to change the key fob battery in your BMW. It does let you clear them all. Next, we're gonna go into the apps and see what apps are available for this car. These things allow you to change the vehicle to your particular liking if you want to change something. Now, let me give you an example of actually what it looks like to go through the whole thing and change something. <clears throat> One of my favorite things uh, in newer BMWs is that you can get the tire pressure and the actual temperature. And <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that uh, OBD11 has that and they can do that pretty for you pretty easy. Oh yeah, here it is, uh, TPMS pressure and temperature display. So if you click that, it's gonna tell you that this takes about 10 credits or you know, a couple dollars. And it says that your vehicle obviously must be equipped with TPMS, which you know all, all new BMWs are now. And you can select the option. Now the option would be to turn it on uh, or to turn only on pressure, you know, from the factory, they're gonna come with pressure. You can deactivate them. So it looks like that uh, OBD11 is gonna charge you 10 credits to activate it. So let's go ahead and click this button and see what happens. So it says it's activating. So what it's doing right now, it's communicating to the iDrive to tell it when you're driving, uh, you'll get both the temperature and pressure displays just like you would if you had a BMW M car. So really pretty cool. Only a couple dollars worth of credits. So really good, good deal to me. It's taken a couple minutes, which if you've ever coded your car or program your car, people use both terms synonymously. And there you go. Now it says it's activated. So but let's take a look. It's under vehicle status, under vehicle status, you're gonna hit tire pressure monitor. And actually you can see that uh, it does, you know, unlike my older BMWs where you have to go drive them to get the TPMS, actually these immediately show you right away what the temperature and the pressure is. You should be aware that apps purchased on your iPhone or Android are gonna cost about 20% more than if you go to their website and purchase them. The benefit of the OBD11 device is that it makes it very easy for folks that are not super comfortable about programming their car. So they make it extremely easy for you. The downside to it is that you have to pay for each thing that you activate. So some other OBT2 devices and programming devices will allow you to program stuff, but you have to go through and manually choose things and it's a little bit more cumbersome. You have to be a little bit more comfortable with programming aspects. I find that the apps for the OBD11 are much easier to use, uh, although you're gonna have to pay for each little thing that you do. They do charge about $20 for 100 credits, and uh, if you had a BMW i3 with the range extender and you wanted to change it to the European functioning, it's gonna cost you about $10 
on credits. If you have any questions about this particular device, uh, leave some comments down below. The last thing I'd like to emphasize is please make sure that your BMW is compatible with this device. I have three BMWs and this only works on one. BMW Blog did ask the company and they have no intention of supporting older BMWs such as E90s and older.